Hey, how you doing? It's Craig Bechte here. And in this video, we're going to have a look at some of the new features in Capture One Pro 11. We're also going to visit Greece. We're going to visit Italy. And we might even have a sighting of Al Pacino in red pants. I'm not sure. We'll get back to that. But anyway, let's get to some of the new features. Also, too, I want to let you know that if you stick around, I'm going to show you how you can save 10% off Capture One Pro 11, as well as I'll have a link to a full portrait retouching video in Capture One Pro. Stick around to the end for those links. All right, let's get started. So in Capture One Pro 11, a really big new feature is the ability to have up to 16 different layers. Now you can add a new layer by hitting the plus symbol and you can delete a layer by hitting the minus symbol. You can also click on the layer and just hit delete to get rid of a layer. And also we have opacities in layers. So let me demonstrate some of the new features. So for example, if I right click here, I have some options for these new layers. I have a new empty layer, a new filled layer, a clone layer, and a heal layer. I'm going to demonstrate the heal layer in just a second. I'm going to choose new filled layer. Now what I can do is I can rename this. I could just click on this and say, we'll say color. And I could add a color style to this. Hit return. Now if I right click on this, you could see I have some options here. If I go to apply settings from, I can go to built in and then I can go down to legacy styles. Now as I hover over this, you could see how this new layer alters the look of the image. So I could choose something that I like, and then I can adjust the opacity of this layer. So if you wanted to just sort of adjust an image or even create a mask and apply a color to that image, you could. So let's go to some skin effects, for example. So I could have different effects here as well. So it's just a matter of going through and finding something that you think might work with the image that you're working on. So let's say I decided to go with this type of color toning and I'll say apply partially. Now what I can do too is I can adjust the opacity of that slider. So all the way to the left we have no effect and then all the way to the right we have a slight effect. I'll go with maybe 18%. So it's very similar to what you could do in Photoshop. Now what you could do too is you could create a mask of say the background and just apply that color tone to the background. So that's one really neat feature that you can do. Now let's look at some other images here. If we wanted to apply a gradient and then back off the opacity, we can do that as well. To apply a gradient, if we come over to the brush tool here, if I click on the brush, if I double click, you could see that I have those options. But if I hold down as well, you could see I have the option to draw a mask with this brush, erase a mask, and apply a gradient. Now we can also use keyboard shortcuts. You can see draw mask is B, erase is E, gradient is G, and then you can also see different ways to display this mask. I'm going to just use my keyboard shortcut for G. Now this will allow us to create a gradient on the sky. Now if I drag down, you could see where this red part is. That's where it's going to be more pronounced of that gradient. So depending on how far you want to go, then you just drag down. Now, if you want to make sure it's a straight line, if you hold the shift key, you can have a perfectly straight gradient. Now I'm just going to apply that. Now you can't see it. So if I hit the M key on my keyboard, I can now see where this gradient effect is taking place. Now what I can do, I'll just hit the M key and we'll turn that off, is I can adjust the exposure of that section by controlling the sliders. So for example, if we want to take the sky down, you can see that's very dramatic. I probably wouldn't go that far, but I could take the exposure down a bit there. I could maybe add a little more contrast to the sky if I wanted to. I could adjust the color toning of the sky, for example, if I wanted to go to color and make it more blue. I could do that as well. So there's a lot of different things. I could adjust the brightness and the saturation of the sky. So that's using the gradient tool on a layer. Now, if I like that, but I thought it was maybe a little too aggressive, then I could just adjust the opacity slider and then just take that down a bit. So you could adjust the opacity slider on different layers. Now let's look at, say, uh, a shot here. Now we've got a spot here that's a little bright. Obviously the top is bright again. Now I could draw a mask. Let's do that. Let's just do something differently. So now if I right click on this, you could see the options of my brush. So I can control the size of my brush by sliding left and right. You can see how the brush is getting bigger. I can adjust the hardness of my brush, the opacity of the brush, and the flow of my brush. So I'm just going to click off of that. 
and now I'm going to draw. But you can see I can't see what's happening. So if I hit the M key, I should see this starting to come in right here. So you can see I'm just affecting this one area that I'm brushing. And as I brush, you can see that it gets a little more intense, the area that I'm brushing. So I could say, let's just brush the top here. So this is a little different than doing a gradient. It's more of a spot adjustment to a certain area. Now again, I can control the exposure. So we'll turn off the M key and we'll just look at what we're seeing. And then I'll just adjust this. I'll bring down the exposure. You can see how I'm just doing that. And then if I thought that was too much, again, I can adjust the opacity of this. So I'm going to have a link pop up and I'll put it below in the description. And this is a link to a full portrait retouch in Capture One Pro, if you want to check that out. And let's just visit this. Does that not look like a young Al Pacino? <laughs> I shot this in Italy. I wish I could pull off red pants. I can't, but I think he's doing a good job with that. Now, like I said, there's a link below in the description to a full portrait retouch. And also, here's how you can save 10% off Capture One Pro 11. If you use the coupon code AMBCRAIG, AMBCRAIG, on checkout, that will save you 10%. I have a video on my channel too. I'll put that in the link below that shows you how to use that coupon on checkout. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Capture One Pro 11, just put them in the comments section below and I'll try to shoot more videos to answer your questions. So just any comments you have, post them below. Give me a thumbs up for this video and share this video on the web with your fellow photographers. And if you haven't already subscribed, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my channel right now. Just click on subscribe. All right, thanks for watching. It's Craig Bechter here, and I'll see you in the next video.